Python on hardware. It's a Blanca. Blanca time. Yeah. Code plus community. Okay, so um, the latest CircuitPython is out, but um, one thing I wanted to stress is tonight, tomorrow-ish, go find your board. Um, go to the absolute newest, latest downloads, especially if you have a mag tag, and you can get deep sleep. Yes, look at this adorable sleeping python. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I guess this is how Blinka wears like a pajamas or something. So that's right. Uh, she's sleeping because we have uh, deep sleep support in um, the latest, latest build of Circuit Python will be in the, in the new beta release coming out in the next day or two. It will let you put the ESP32 S2 Wi-Fi chip into a deep sleep mode and yeah. wake up some seconds later. This will let you. Um, do Wi-Fi projects that you know sleep in between getting data, which is kind of key um, for Wi-Fi. It's a very common thing, and also we're gonna make sure it also um, is backported to the NRF52 because Bluetooth also greatly um, benefits from deep sleep. The architecture just took a really long time because we wanted to get it right. Um, we want to have the experience of deep sleep be a really good one, um, and we're gonna be. We have a couple of Magtech projects we've released because we've been trying to do more e-ink with um, yeah. CircuitPython. So, so yeah. we'll be revising those to add deep sleep to them. Here's my request. So uh, good news, bad news, we get this deep sleep thing. Bad news is the best project that kind of makes a lot of sense for this is the most morbid worst thing right now because we're going through COVID. So every single day, the COVID tracking project releases the updated numbers between seven and eight o'clock-ish. Yeah. And so we have a refrigerator magnet that's like, hey everybody, um, we're not doing great. And so this was from uh, yeah, 1128. This is the, we're not doing great announcement. Yeah. And like every day it's just like, okay, it's worse. It's worse. worse. So today I think we hit over 100,000 in the hospital. 2,000 people died. So um, please maybe um, look at the sleep code and come up with a better project than that or another project. We're, yeah. we're working on it. We're working it's on. important that we have that project, but I'd also, you the know. The next SpaceX launch project. That's a very positive one. Yeah, I guess. I, yeah, I guess. I, the, you know, the problem is this is like, it is useful to have that information, um, and it's a good test for this code. But man, anyways. So uh, our Python hardware newsletter went out. Okay. Um, so we talked about deep sleep. Um, we uh, have some like cool interface stuff that you can check out. So um, this is the CircuitPy UI, a little lightweight graphical user interface library for Python and CircuitPython. And then um, there's GUI Zero, which is separate. That's sort of like a Raspberry Pi. Like, you know, GPIO Zero was the low-level hardware interface that yeah. was simplified. This is a GUI interface. I think it's based on Tkinter, um, but I'm not 100% sure. But I saw it, and I thought it was kind of interesting because this is, you know, Raspberry Pi. Like, at making Python GUIs is not easy, so this is like an attempt to make it easier. Yeah. Um, you can see some projects that have been Featherwings. going around the web. Um, I think this is uh, Cedar Grove's yeah. project. And Look at that beautiful display. Like yeah. Cool um, stock ticker. We actually had the stock ticker person on the show and tell. Last week, um, we have our Adafruit update. We always put everything in there. We're always shipping. Haven't stopped shipping. Um, other news from around the web. You can check out all the different things that are going on with our Feather products. Um, you can see our matrix being used. Uh, this was from... Um, you know, calendar stuff, so it was turkey look the, day. Look at the turkey! Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, if you're into lucid dreaming and you're into, like, you know, when it, when your brain is into a certain mode... It like, flashes the lights yeah. and stuff? That's kind of cool. Um, here it's is... Like a starscape. Yeah, here is a little uh, Crash Space LA DFN happy hour thing that it made stars on a mag tag. Um, we have uh, this... I think we'll see a lot of this because just the way... The MagTag is kind of a multi-purpose device and has Stemma and Stemma QT on it. Is you can do all sorts of sensor stuff. Displays it from the last time, shuts down, and then turns back on when needed. Uh, this is kind of neat. It's a, a very simple video game that you can control with uh, Bluetooth. Yeah, and somebody ESP32. like they updated the um, ESP32 on the airlift to make it do Bluetooth Classic, which it doesn't do really. We have Bluetooth Low Energy and Wi-Fi. The chip it does Bluetooth Classic, but we never added support for it. But they did. Yeah, so that's kind of cool. And then uh, this is something I think we're going to see a lot of is. Circuit Python and IoT trivia, and, and when I say see a lot of, I mean internet connected things that gets data and shows it on screen because it's really easy to do with Circuit Python, really hard to do with other things. So this is neat. It's our ESP thirty two S two uses OLED, and it goes out and gets a trivia question and displays it. Um, I on one hand I want to do a um, like Iron Chef thing where it's like you with Arduino, you with Circuit Python, you with 
you know, JavaScript U with Assembly U with, you know, this, and then ask the same, the, do the same project. Yeah. Get, get, a, get a trivia question and then put it on this display. Um, because I think the ease of use is so high right now. And this is the feedback we get. It's like, oh, you're making yeah. it too easy. I don't think you can ever make anything too easy. Pretty easy. Um, it's pretty easy. Um, I think that'd be kind of cool. Um, anyways, then we have some other news for some general uh, Python stuff. Circuit Python. This is a MicroPython microbit study buddy. Um, and then here's a video about the Pi board. We have our coming soon. So we'll talk about that later on in the show. We have some new learning guides. We have a bunch of Circuit Python libraries. We are up to 281. And then um, if you look in events, we're starting to put events that are coming up for the rest of the year. And also... Oh, Microbit Live is coming up real soon. That's yeah. Like and then weekend. also some for next year, including the Open Hardware Summit and more. So that is Python Hardware. Yay. Lots happening. 